Less influenced by Islam than the Nubians along the Nile, the people of this region have become of considerable interest to historians because they may be closer in their way of life to the Nubians of old. <laughs> As it happened, we chanced on a special day among these Nuba people, a bit like a cup final. This is Africa as it can still be found, away from tourists, motor cars and big cities, celebrating in its own fashion. A number of cultural links have been found to suggest that these people may well share a common heritage with distant ancestors who lived in the time of the kings and queens of Kush. Village teams, each wearing its own distinctive color, have gathered from a wide area to take part in one of the oldest of all sporting events, but also a passion among the Nuba, wrestling. <laughs> So intricate are the rules governing not only the contest itself, but also exactly who may wrestle with whom on the basis of family relationships, that it's almost impossible for a visitor to follow all the moves. But for the historian, there's another close relationship between the Nuba wrestling of today and that of ancient times. Dating from around 2500 BC, these vivid paintings have been copied from an Egyptian tomb at Beni Hassan. Increasingly, it seems that these people can indeed trace their past back to civilizations in antiquity. And their ancient sport provides one more small piece of evidence of a continuous social tradition that's lasted for centuries. Yet these are the very people whom the 19th century explorer Samuel Baker described as human nature in its crudest state, not to be compared with the noble character of the dog. After the contest comes the celebration. Some of these Nuba girls may well be Muslim, but it's no part of their tradition to hide their faces behind veils. They have a pride and place within society, in line with the customs of old Nubia, and even of Meroe itself, whose rulers were often women. In another part of the Nuba Hills, just a few miles to the southeast, the teachings of Islam have made no headway at all. The people of these villages have quite consciously chosen to reject either Western or Islamic dress. Free spirits under an African sky, young girls dance as much for their own pleasure as for the spectators breathing life into these astonishingly similar images of Nubian dancing girls, 
performing for the pharaohs 5,000 years ago. Famed for their grace and beauty, they had an honored place in the life of ancient Egypt. That the one should still be regarded as primitive and the other as part of the world's cultural heritage reflects on the ignorance and prejudice of the modern world. And not at all on them. <laughs> 